Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Burgers. On today's video, I'm going to be making a burger that is inspired by the streets of Korea. Let's get going. So lately I've been binge watching a lot of street foods from all over the world and I'm just completely amazed by the different interpretations of the hamburger throughout the country. I'm seeing some really, really cool burgers everywhere from you know the UK down into Southeast Asia. So let me know what you think of my creating a playlist that would be basically street burgers, <laughs> for lack of better words, from all over the world. Um, I'm kind of excited about it. I hope you guys are too. Today's burger is inspired by a street food vendors in Korea and I'm taking the influence from two burgers that I saw. The techniques and everything are the same and yet different from what I see in a lot of American burgers. Let's get going. So in the griddle I have these two burners on medium high, this one on low. The fourth burner, the heat's not on at all. Lay down a little oil. This is just vegetable oil. Fry up some onions. So I want to get these onions pretty well broken down here. I'm using brown onions here. Alright, these onions are looking good. Put these over to the cool side. They're not the cool side, the warmer side. You know, I've noticed on, on this flat top, if I have the two main burners on, like I said, a medium high, the third one on low, leave the fourth one off, it's still, it's over 200 degrees. I mean, close to 300 degrees over here in the area with no burner on at all. Now for the buns, very simple hamburger bun, no sesame seeds. Again, I'm taking my plays from a video I literally watched last night. Two videos I saw that, that inspired this, this video. <laughs> Spreading on some butter here. And here's something, I mean, it's not really exciting, but they, a little different than I do. So I'm putting butter on the heel, on the face of the heel here. And then they start off with the bottom portion of the bun down on the flat top. And I'm guessing that kind of helps maybe give it a little bit more strength to hold up to the juicy, greasy burger that's going to be placed on this. So you can see that top bun's looking good. There you go. We are almost done. So I have two meatballs here, ground chuck, 70-30. I actually had a request that I do some 70-30 stuff, so here, I'm doing it. <laughs> the burgers they were cooking over there on the video I was watching look very, very fatty. And they go really thin. comes apart like that, fix it, it's no big deal. It's like a trowel. A little salt. A little black pepper. Now normally I would be flipping them once they start getting those holes in the meat, these really thin ones pumping steam through, but they wait. And it, this is, again, this is something new for me as far as technique wise. I'm gonna take some of those onions and put them on top of what is basically being cooked from the 
underside out. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. American cheese down. Cheese is almost where I want it to be. Now let's start dressing this burger. Start out with some ketchup, some mustard, some pickles. All right, these are looking great. down some minced onion, raw onion. Crown this. And there we have it. I'm going to call this the Korean street cheeseburger. Looks good. Let's give it a try. This is a challenge here. So I have categories of burgers that I say, once you latch onto it, you don't let go. This is one of them. It's hot. Whew. Steaming hot, which is not a bad thing. So this thing really reminds me of a Oklahoma onion burger, as far as the taste, I'm getting, getting all that caramely onion flavor, which is wonderful. But I'm also getting raw onion flavor, which is awesome. Pickles, I mean, I always love pickles on a burger. I know some people don't, I do. Messy. <laughs> greasy goodness right there that bun just so simple so soft butter flavor coming out the mustard and the ketchup coming together making a really good sauce it's a winner I, I love this this is a good burger and again it, I know it's really simple but one of the things I like to showcase are techniques that I've that I pick up from these you know, especially other countries, but these burgers that I'm copying, I don't even know if is this a copycat, I guess maybe sort of it is. But normally, again, I would have flipped this thing way sooner than I did. And I wouldn't have piled, you know, the, the fried onions on top of the, you know, the raw side on the flip. So thank you, Korea. That's a great, great technique. I like it. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by and watching. If you're not subscribed, please do. Make sure you ring that notification bell and thumb up the video if you like. And I really hope you guys did. Keep the suggestions coming in. I'll have an email down below so you can email suggestions, burgers you want to see. Have patience because it's a very long list. I mean, it's a list I'm getting from this channel as well as the list that I had built up on Ballistic Barbecue. But um, I, I love doing these type of burgers. Let me know. In the comments, if you'd like to see me create a playlist of like street food burgers from all over the world, because I'm finding a lot of them. I mean, some really, really cool burgers. Anyway, see you on the next video. Let me see. Some people want to know. This is a Mexican beer. It's called Victoria. It's made by Modelo, actually. There it is. Cheers.